Okay, you can see I've already done a test. I've got 4G on the left with 71 megabits per second, 5G on the right with 130 megabits per second. Now, a little bit of information before I really give you the rest of this video. And I have got a Samsung Galaxy on the left-hand side operating on Vodafone 4G. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S10 5G on the right-hand side also operating on Vodafone but it's operating on 5G. We've got the little 5G symbol on the right-hand side and the 4G symbol on the left-hand side. So I've got 100 megabits per second very quickly on the fast.com speed test there on the 5G, 62 megabits per second on the 4G. 4G is actually very respectable speeds, I must admit. Um, I'm gonna use a different speed test in a minute, but let's just do another one here. Uh, I should mention, by the way, I'm parked up in a side street, as you can probably tell here, a very busy side street, just outside of Wembley, and 110 megabits per second on the 5G, and 76 megabits per second on the 4G. Um, let's go into speedtest.net, and they use servers that are sometimes within the Vodafone network, so you get a faster speed, um, because they don't have to go out onto the internet. 5G one seems to be taking a while to connect and by the way that message there be wary if you're getting a brand new 5g or even a 4g phone you keep doing these speed tests and it will suck up a load of your data package um, you're going to find out that you're going to run out of data pretty quickly so 83.3 megabits per second on the 4g the 5g is off and away now it's getting near to yes and beating 200 megabits per second that is very quick indeed uh, don't forget, I've only got a spotty signal here, two bars of signal. Uh, I've got 6.78 megabits per second upload on the 4G. Let's just see. So we're getting more than that on 5G. We're getting 12, which is about normal, to be honest, for 4G. Uh, we've got a 12 megabits per second on 5G upload. And 188 it's come through as on the download. So let's do that again. I'll just fire off the 4G. And come on, it's already actually done the download so 52 megabits per second on the download and we're getting what I would expect there you go say 12 megabits per second upload it's interesting actually the uploads quite interesting on here um, the 5g isn't any faster than the 4g in with upload speeds that's 13.1 megabits per second on the upload now on the 5g it's going a bit slower I should mention here by the way there are 77,000 people coming out of Wembley Stadium just around the corner at the minute. The Manchester City versus Liverpool match has just finished. And the cell that I am using is probably heavily, heavily utilised. And it may be using the same backbone on 5G and 4G. I honestly don't know. So 109 on 5G and 67.7 on 4G. 12.3 megabits per second on the upload of 5G. And we're getting roughly the same on 4G so the 5G upload in these scenario in this scenario where I've only got two bars is actually faster just a bit faster on the 4G so we'll do one final test and we'll see how this one comes out so the 4G really really performing very well 76 78 so 80 megabits per second and it's actually beating the 5G speed right now 80.3 and yet we've only got 61.8 on 5G well I don't know if that's taught you anything, but um, that is our 4G and 5G test comparison.